Hello everybody, I am going to play the hero mode of Skyward Sword on the Wii. This is not the HD version, this is the original version on the Wii. I am holding a Wii Remote, actually a Wii Remote Plus, with a nunchuck attached, and I'm going to play it. And I have the hero mode file right here not started yet. I basically wiped my 100% completed file for this. It took me about 44 hours, which I've estimated by adding up my playtime from the Wii menu. Wasn't technically 100% complete, like if you think of what that 100% uh, requirements are for the speedruns as... I guess I technically didn't get all the dowsing targets, but I had all the heart pieces, I think I hit all the goddess cubes, I got the Hylian shield, all that good stuff, so... And I upgraded pretty much all my weapons too. Alright, so hero mode. Enemies do double damage, uh, defeated enemies, and I think like, maybe like broken pots, um, and cut grass. Don't drop hearts. I think unless you are holding a heart medal, uh, hearts will not appear. Um, and a couple other things too. I got the fully upgraded Skyward Strike, I think, from as soon as I get the Goddess Sword, I think. And then once it's upgraded to, I think, just the Master Sword. I don't know if it has to be the true Master Sword. The uh, charge time for Skyward Strike goes away. Those are the main differences I know of. So I'm going to start Hero Mode. And here we go. And yes, I can skip the cutscene. I'm not going to, though. Because let's be immersed in the story. That's why. So there's the... One of the most annoying bosses in the game. It is, I will admit, it is a little bit annoying having to fight the Imprisoned three times. And, like, the second and third time are basically back to back there's not much um story in between the second and third fights man it's also hard for me to believe this game is now like over 12 years old as of the time i'm recording this video i didn't play it until i think 2015 I also, I have a comfortable setup right now, but I don't like it because <laughs> I'm kind of far away from my computer, which of course I have the recording set up on, so that kind of matters. I'm probably also going to go back and forth with explaining things that you probably don't don't know or don't care about or already know and thus don't care about. As this game is basically a prequel to the entire Zelda series. And you know, at first I didn't like the branching, well this is before the branching, but like the branching timelines. I thought it's okay to kind of admit that the Zelda I guess Universe doesn't have a fully cohesive timeline as when the series was first uh, created. You know, it wasn't necessarily known if it would be still going strong. I guess over 25, I guess now it's like over 35 years later, I guess. Because this was 25, the 25th anniversary, that was already back in 2011, so... It's fine to, um, you know, not have been necessarily thinking f completely forward when you made Ocarina of Time back in, what, the 90s. Also, I know that the picture isn't fully going, I don't think, to the edges of the screen. I don't know if I can do anything about that. So here's the letter from Zelda. All right. 
So, oh, I forgot one thing I wanted to do right away. I'm actually going to uh, change the interface. I don't need to see the Wii Remote on screen, and I can't change it yet. Oh, damn. But, yeah, so I keep all my treasures um, and bugs from when I my first playthrough, so this is what I had left over. Um, but everything else is, well, reset. Including the Hylian Shield, and I'm worried it's going to be a massive pain in the ass to try to obtain it. Um, wait, I didn't notice him here before. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that canonically Pippet won the previous ceremony. He doesn't- wait, I don't even think he gives you any expertise, though, in the game. So it's funny that he says that. Alright, first of all, let's get some free rupees. Alright, let's get some free rupees here. Help out Fledge, that's his name. Also, so because of the higher difficulty of Hero Mode, um, expect me to play, like, a massive noob, a massive bitch, and um, expect me to act like a complete scrub at certain moments. And uh, <laughs> play more cautiously than necessary. Um, to play more cautiously than necessary at times. Okay, now, I know that the air gauge, which doesn't apply until much later in the game, depletes faster. Uh, at least when you use, like, the, uh, the, the charge attack by, you know, shaking the nunchuck. I don't know if the other gauges deplete faster as well. I think they might, but I, I actually don't think so, because I think I'm, when I played through regularly, this is about how far I got. Maybe the act of picking up the barrel maybe drains more. I don't know. So, um, anyways, uh, I was going to say something else too, so I think this gives me 20 rupees. Oh, and expect me to worry about farming rupees to buy stuff when I really don't need to. That's just how I played this game. So, oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. So I first played this game and basically 100% completed it uh, back around like 2015. And then I recently, and by recently I mean within the past couple of weeks, did that again. So a lot of this is now still is fresh in my mind. Um, so I kind of remember where a lot of secret stuff is that I want to get. And secret stuff that I probably will get that's probably not worth it. Also expect for me to, can I switch the interface by the way? Oops, no. No, I can't. Damn. Expect me to kind of botch um, uh, the spirit trials. Oh, he congratulated me for trying hero mode or said that he commends my... So, he knows that I've already beaten the game, but he's still telling me how to play. Oh, here we go. So here's... um. Some information about hero mode. Yeah, enemies do twice as much damage. But you know what? I didn't have, like, the hot most difficulty playing this game. And I feel like um, the things that I had difficulty on at first, I kind of remember how to deal with them. Like some of the bosses, some of the enemies. But, you know what? At the end of the day, it is just a game. So... Even if I struggle, you know, it's not that dire. And if there are things that I keep failing over and over before succeeding, I will probably edit stuff out or probably fast forward it instead. Like I said though, I wiped out basically a completed save file for this. I didn't copy it, which I probably should have done. Really? Does he not think that my clothes look fresh? I mean, maybe I don't want to get my clothes dirty either.
you're right. He, he um, he appealed to my um, my pride and my climbing abilities. All right, I'm not gonna react like this to everything, I guess. I'm not that immersed in the game. I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh god, now what? Oh yeah, I'm wondering, <laughs> I am wondering like how much or how well the sounds that come out of the Wii Remote will be captured by my microphone. I didn't turn them off, because I like to hear them. Okay, here. I know it's not a cat, but it does remind me a lot of a cat. It's a shame that these guys become so ferocious at night until like, I think until you get like the... I don't actually know what ha when... <laughs> I don't actually know when they stop becoming ferocious at night. I think like all the monsters in Skyloft disappear too. Uh, at a certain point. Okay. So this is where I can get some more optional stuff. There's another chest. And I think like... I mean, it doesn't have anything... It's just got rupees, but... Hold on. I will say, and that reminded me, it is annoying that every time when I boot up the game, the first time after booting up or loading my save file that I get a treasure or a bug, a certain bug or treasure, it does that and tells me what I got. I don't need to know that after the first time. She didn't know what a harp is, really? So, I'll say she looks great. I'll be nice about it. No, I'm gonna be, um... I don't wanna say it, but... Never mind. Uh, fuck, I, I forgot what I was going to say. Um... I do like her character model. I don't know. It's different than in previous games, but I, I do like it. It's kind of unique, I guess. Uh, fuck. What was I going to say? Oh, what I was going to say is, does the goddess thing, does that technically count as foreshadowing what she said? I mean, since it's something that... I don't... See, the specific dialogue I, I might forget, but... But, like, I remember the part of the plot that she is supposed to have the role of the goddess in the ceremony. So, I don't know. Does that count as foreshadowing? I don't really care if it does.
like I said, I'm not skipping the cutscenes. I want to experience the story again. Uh oh. Oh yeah, the other thing you might be able to hear is um, the vibrations of the Wii Remote. Okay, and of course, if you are familiar with any of the memes from this game, you should know that very shortly we are about to meet the actual main character. Oh, and sometimes I like to just swirl the the D-pad of the or the not D-pad the analog stick on the nun chuck around. Um, I sort of fidget with it, so you might hear that as well. Okay, I don't know if the somersault uses more energy than in regular mode. It doesn't. I, I don't know. I didn't really keep track of it. So is this Horwell? I actually don't remember. Even though it doesn't do shit for the story, I don't have to, that's what I mean. No, I don't know if I can. Whatever. Oh, no, never mind. Alright, I'll do it. Oh, there's a blue rupee. Where is the main character? 
if you know, you know, for now. There he is! Legend of Groose. I like how alone time is uh, in red. I'll say that it's red, kind of red orange. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm not going to say give him back, because he's not going to admit to doing anything, so... What should I tell him? Not that it matters. I'll, I'll, I'll taunt a little bit. No, I'll compliment his hair. We'll see what he says. I like how go way back is also and is also highlighted. as the game progresses there should be less of these uh long i'd say cutscenes, but they do have dialogue i do have to hit the a button Oh, I just remembered I <laughs> I totally meant to get um something back by the statue. I'm going to go back and get it, I guess. I totally forgot, though, because I talked about it, too. I started to talk about it, and then, of course, I forgot about it, so. All right. By the way, I don't exactly remember what I have to do, but this isn't it. I, I'm deliberately going for oh, something extra. Uh.
It's really gonna make me open the map that I just... Well, I guess it won't make me, but it is going to annoy me if I don't. Alright. I'll do this first, but I think there's another... There's a chest, I think. And I can't get it if I wait till the very, very, very end of the game, because I think that part of the Skyloft goes away. Even though, it, like, it's not obviously required for anything, and it's just rupees, I think, that I get, but I think. I still want it. Okay, when can I change the interface? I don't need to see the Wii Remote outline in Nunchuck. And yes, I am wearing the Wii condom on my Wii Remote, by the way. Okay, I actually don't know if I have to do this. I'm gonna hit yes. Wait, can I not do it? No, I, I already can. Okay, cool. Well, let's just make sure I can do this still. That's the defensive. Uh, that's the shield practice target. Okay. Like I said, I don't know if he won't let you leave if you don't do this. My guess is maybe I can leave. Oh, well. I feel like doing it. Okay, now I'm going to uh, get that chest that- oh, god damn it. That's right, the fucking Sheikah Stone, which I know was removed from the HD version. Okay, it knows I'm playing in hero mode. Oh, okay. So I get all the hints right from the start. Does that include for areas I've not yet unlocked? I'm just gonna see what, what it'll tell me. Yeah, okay, cool. Literally all of them are available. Okay. So, I guess I don't even need to remember. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, okay, whatever. Like I said, because I, I said that, like, I kind of remembered most of the secret areas. Not secret areas, like, um, item locations, I guess, for the most part. Or at least things that I'm likely to miss casually playing. I guess that's a better way to describe it. Things that playing casually I very easily could miss. So... Alright. Okay. 
Oh, here's the chest right here. This is what I was talking about. It's 20 rupees. See, I was uh, freaking, not freaking out, but making a big deal about going to get 20 rupees. Holy shit, I don't think I have enough energy to make it. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't want to go too... I don't want to go too far out. I want to get as close to the edge as possible. And I'm leaping just to make this go a bit faster. I just realized that's the same music, I believe, as the uh, Isle of Storms and the Thunderhead. Why did I just realize that? Because I wasn't really listening to the music when I last played this game. Um, oh yeah, I have to go to the cave now. <laughs> Get my loft wing. So this will be my first uh, test of combat, where um, I'll actually encounter enemies and we'll see how well I can uh, avoid taking damage. There's nothing really that hard to defeat in the cave. The waterfall cave. Nothing that can really block any attacks either. So. You know, it would be nice if my sword also did twice the damage. I don't think it does. Does this person have anything to say? I can swing the sword because I, I did have trouble doing um like down slashes last time I would I, not always but I would more often than I'd like to I would end up going at an angle uh, I had a little bit of trouble with precision so um, let's see if I can avoid that this time all right there's a chest Wait, do they have twice as much health? I swear these- oh, you know what? It might be that this sword does less damage. I actually don't know. I honestly don't remember. Because I swear these guys were always one-hit kills. Okay, what's up here? Is there anything up here that's useful? There, another chest. But again, the those guys, um, they all go down. They, they go down in one hit. So I don't know. So that would be up. Oh. oh, it's in a little. Oh, multiple red rupees in this little small pass. It's a tiny tunnel, I guess. Um, all right, we're out. I didn't take any damage.
Let's get rid of these barrels first. Ugh. I will say, I don't entirely understand why they can't ever return to the sky after, why they had to sort of stay permanently um, at the surface after the events of this game. to do now I go back. Oh, I can't charge. Oh, I tried to charge. Okay, I don't I don't necessarily think pressing A is what prompted that though. Oh won't let me do the charge, no. Okay. Yeah I don't Oh, now I can do the charge attack, maybe. There we go. What the fuck? I feel like he's moving slow. Oh, oh, I can't go back yet. I don't think it's gonna let me go back to Skylock yet. There we go. Okay. So, uh... That's why I couldn't go back at that the game wouldn't let me because it's trying to teach me how to use my bird. I will save here. Yeah, I'll save here. <laughs> hey, it's the main character. If it isn't the main character. That would be Groose, not me, of course. Just say if he won the sailcloth, I feel like it would be uh, too stiff to use as a parachute.
Hmm. I'm gonna be confident about this. Not that what you say actually matters, though. Uh, it's the 25th anniversary of their institution. That's definitely got to be a uh, shout out to the fact that it's also 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda when this game was released. So I guess they broke the fourth wall a bit there. I mean, I guess they can... <laughs> There's no way that's coincidence. And yes, I did know about that. I mean, I'm not surprised. I, I, I'm almost acting like I'm surprised by uh, the contents. I, I'm not. I, third time I'm playing through this game, I already knew that. I'm just trying to say things. Okay. So where is... I did not, I mean, I'm not really, I don't know if I'm really struggling, but I didn't find it this difficult last time. Okay, there we go. I mean, this is the first phase. Because this is where he starts throwing shit. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, okay. Throwing shit and colliding. Oh fuck, did I miss an opportunity? Okay, now the other thing is that <laughs> my reflexes are not the best. My reflexes, not for this, but more so for like the um, reacting to enemies. Um, those have not been the best. I don't know why she's so confident that my bird can handle both of their weights, both of our weights. Oh, and no, I should point out, like, I'm not gonna, like, nitpick the, um, I don't know, every plot detail of this game. So don't ask me why I thought of that now.
that it smells nice too. See, does this also count as foreshadowing, though? That's not a nitpick. I actually want to know. pick the uh-oh option. I did fuck this up last time I did this on my first attempt because I could not get the fucking controls to do what I wanted, but now I feel like I'm in control. Alright, now I'll use it. Alright. So, that makes me wonder, by the way, I mean, this actually does make me wonder. Now I'm being fairly serious. Um, if, like, Girahim and Demise at the surface are able to affect events or things above the clouds, that if he were to be awakened and were to essentially destroy the surface, would he have come for the sky and Skyloft next? I mean, I guess Girahim was able to send that tornado, so... I, I guess... I guess he can affect... things in Skyloft above the cloud barrier. Unless I didn't pay attention very well and there's something else that addresses whether that would happen. I mean, I guess there's no reason to assume they wouldn't go for the sky next, after they conquer the surface.
It wasn't really black, it was kind of like brown. Whatever. It was definitely dark. Look, it's the thing that I, it's the thing that will hold my hand throughout the game and tell me everything I need to do. By the way, I don't really feel that way about what Phi does in this game. I don't really think that's a very fair description of her. Oh, that's what that's for. I forgot. Okay, I did forget that you are forced to go this way. Um, in this part of the game. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Okay, admittedly, even though they are gonna hurt you, I do not like that you have to attack those things to get them to not attack you. But at least they don't die, you know? They just cower instead and they stop trying to kill you. Wait, what does it- what does the game say about the sword I currently have, by the way? Because I'm about to get rid of it and never use it again. <laughs> so, what does it say about the sword? Oh. Come on, what the- It's the practice sword. Okay. So, admittedly, I forgot about the, um, <laughs> the fact that you are forced to take this route <laughs> at this part of the game. I thought this- Part of the, this um, route was basically pointless, but it's not. Unless you think that the game forcing you to kind of platform around or maneuver around to get to this area that you were at earlier, unless you think that's just bad game design, which I don't. Also, uh, I will warn you that we're getting to the point where my commentary or my reactions, or the things I say, are probably going to become a lot less intelligent, as I'm probably going to get quite frustrated at various points, and it's probably going to just be mostly profanity past a certain point. Especially if I'm trying to get that Hylian shield, having to kill eight bosses in a row when they do double damage. That might, <laughs> that might be a little bit rage-inducing. Okay. Of course, I really haven't been tested by Hero Mode yet. 
ハラコイチトンオリジン。ユルシャタイタシテルジャテソ。I wonder what those further pers persuasive measures would have been. Oh, she said to draw the sword and raise it skyward. They just shouted out, like, the, the title of this game. Alright. Oh yeah, I do have to raise it skyward. She did say to do that. My Skyward Strike is now at maximum strength. See, I think that is a special feature of Hero Mode, like I said, that I already knew because I looked up. I should specify, by the way, when I said I played through this game twice, that does not include Hero Mode. I have not played through Hero Mode yet. Um, <laughs> yes, oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission.
I'm gonna be cocky and say, okay. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what this uniform will be. I will say by progress, I I'm gonna be just about done, by the way, with this with this video, I guess. Um, no way, it's the traditional green Link garb. I couldn't have predicted that. With some, like, I don't know, like, chain mail sticking out. To, you know, fit the fact to, to, um... <laughs> Because he's supposed to be training to be a knight, so. Okay, see... It's not all oral. I mean, maybe it was originally passed down orally, but there are texts as well. It's not all oral tradition. Unless, of course, those texts were the result of what was at first oral tradition. Anyways, uh, I'm about ready to wrap this up. So the next episode should be a bit more exciting. There was a lot of exposition in this one because it's the start of the game. So a lot of Things that were basically functionally cutscenes. I mean, there's going to be a little bit more, because in the next one, that will be my first... Let's see what this guy has to say. This is Colin. Uh, because I won the, uh, the ceremony dipshit. Okay, let's go outside now. Yay, my free shield, a free wooden shield.
Well, I do know how to use it, so let's go anyway. Yeah, let's 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 go anyway. I don't think it unlocks anything or sets necessarily any important flags. But Yeah, let's learn some defense. And I probably will reset if my shield breaks, because I'm a bitch like that. <laughs> Yay, that was real fucking easy. Now let's learn the practical stuff. Okay, this thing's derping. The Wii Remote was a little bit derpy. See, I do struggle with the timing for the shield bashes a little bit. Sometimes, in situations where I really shouldn't, I do struggle. Oh. Uh. Oh, I just got- I just got- Oh, I just got fucked twice. Okay, cool. We're good here. I'm leaving. Well, I don't know about the wooden shield, but, like, if I get, like, the- I forget what it's called. The expensive one. The goddess shield, I think. Maybe is what it's called. Or the sacred shield. I, I don't remember what it's called. If that thing breaks, uh, I'm probably gonna save a lot. So if it breaks, I'll reset. Because I don't wanna- it's 500 rupees. I don't wanna buy a second one. I'm pretty sure it was 500 rupees. Well, I have a shield. I don't need to purchase one. Yeah, I, I am. I mean, I probably should just turn off the interface, but I'm gonna put it actually on light. I'm not gonna turn it on pro, I'll just turn it on light. So that it's a little bit less. Um, a little bit less, like, intrusive, I guess. Um, while still reminding me in case I'm in a panic and don't remember how to <laughs> use the controls. Besides, like, you think of a game like Wind Waker. Wind Waker had essentially this kind of an interface. Not to say it, that means it's automatically good, but it's not like, you know, having the, the buttons on screen in some fashion is completely foreign. Okay. Why is piercing eyes highlighted? Alright. I know I don't need it, but he will give me my fortune for free this first time, I think. Oh, one rupee. It's not for free. Sure. You can have one rupee. Tell me. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> well, I already have one. Well... What I'm gonna take instead- oh wait, I actually need a- I need a jar first! Mm. Or a bottle, whatever. So, I'm actually not going to, uh, get 
one of the heart potions. I'm gonna get this one instead because it will also heal my shield a bit. Revitalizing potion. I'll take one. I don't know if I'm gonna ever need it. We will see how I do with hero mode. <laughs> we'll see how I do. Alright, so now I am going to conclude this first episode. There's Beetle. I can't actually access him yet because I have no way of ringing the bell. But, oh, let's see what this kid's got to say since he's got a text box thing above his head. Yep. Okay, so that's going to do it for this first episode. Uh, this first episode wasn't very eventful. Uh, like I said, it's the beginning of the game, so there was a lot of, like, exposition and introductory stuff, teaching you how the game works, teaching you the plot, etc. Uh, so in the next one, uh, I'll have more enemies to fight. It hopefully is a bit more exciting. Um, so there should be more stuff going on next time, but until then, see ya.